welcome everybody and welcome back to my vlog if this is your first time here uh, my name is Francine I'm teaching year one in 2020 and this is getting my classroom ready vlogs for the new school year so welcome and thanks for joining oh yeah so I did that corner got finally got my borders in so I was able to complete that I now want to just pop up my rotational groups I don't know who's in my group yet but just the um, framework for my groups so that is what is next so I'm so happy that I got a delivery today from spotlight which is a store that carries lots of craft things and home decor and I don't know curtaining Manchester all that sort of stuff so I was able to pick up this well I bought it online but it came today so that was very exciting because that needs to replace my old black one that had I'd had for about well, eight years it used to be white I spray painted it black and of course that's it in the corner ready to go to the big skip bin so that it cabinet that I did have for many many years that I finally had to get rid of actually housed all my extra pencils glues rubbers um, student supplies that I've bought but I housed them as extras so I need to put it together shouldn't be that hard surely here I go so good morning everybody another day I know I keep saying that and I don't even know what day it is it is a Wednesday and it is January and I feel like I've been coming into this classroom many 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 days but I haven't it just feels that way I am happy with my progress um, there are a few things on my list I am up early today because um, my son has gone water skiing child who is left at home has gone water skiing with his grandparents husband is at work so I thought they woke me up when they left so I thought I may as well come in and get an early start so then I can get home early and get some housework done so my my hair I'm at work by myself no one to help me hair's a bit of a mess like I said I need help so I decided to plait and what do you do when you're at work and you don't have your hair gear? I used a elastic rubber band from the geometric box, ge geometry box for um, tangrams and things. I forget what you even call them. But anyway, I found an elastic band. Winning. So today a few things that I want to get done is my word wall so um, I did make one I wasn't happy with the colors they were a bit wishy-washy on the wall because it, I'm not putting anything behind the letters as such so it looked a bit wishy-washy so I had to go and change that so I'm gonna put that up this morning I don't know if you will be able to see but just in this area here where that chair is is the word wall is going to go under there I do need to finish also up here I need to finish the board up there on saying that I do need to finish a little bit more in my teacher area I do need to cut out timetable pieces because yes I've decided to change it to pretty much my theme just sometimes need to redress myself because I don't know if I told you I probably did but I have a frozen shoulder after I broke my arm so it doesn't do what I want it to do and that includes when I have clothes on now I've got the aircon on I hope it's not really really loud in these vlogs new classroom Get to check it out I might have to be up in my teach area right now I'm at my new desk area for small group 
uh, but I might have to vlog if I'm going to do a speaking vlog like this I may need to vlog over in my teach area so I'm going to get to it I'm going to start on that wall down there and when I'm done I'll let you have a look okay so I have put all the backing for my word wall the word wall now has to get all the letters on it I decided not to put the letters on. I was going to when I laminated glue the letters onto the paper then laminate but then I thought if I change my mind they're stuck on there so I didn't so I've laminated all of these I laminated the letters which are here and I'm going to now blue tack them onto each sheet so looking all right yeah okay it will be for also to this just so you know this word will be for we do jolly phonics so these will be for mainly the tricky words in jolly phonics and any other hard words that we might come across okay on to the next Okay, there is my word wall. Very happy with how it turned out. I'm just going to up in this corner, maybe put a little title, um, our tricky word wall. I'm not sure, but happy. So I think I spoke to you yesterday about <laughs> So I think I spoke to you yesterday about um, ordering from Spotlight and I got my order. So part of my order was some um, material boxes to put into a cube shelf storage and some pillow cases or oh, cushion covers to put on some cushions I want to get. For the library area so I'll just give you a quick look at those so I got these from spotlight because I'm loving this color at the moment so therefore pretty heavy for me to lift up <laughs> storage cubes and it's in like a turquoise color which I thought were really cute now I can't remember how much I paid for them five or six dollars each but usually they come with a base in them. Don't mind me, that was my rubbish. So usually they come with a base in these type of things. But this one comes with this really cute little zipper. You just zip. And there you have it. I thought that was really cool. And then I also got two of these European pillowcases so they're the big ones and they're going to go over in my library area I'm just waiting on just waiting on um, my rug to come in so just thought I'd show you those few little things that I also got from Spotlight Radio. so I am going to make a start on this pinball behind me so it is the board that you see when you work walk through the doors into the classroom and it's quite a big one the sad thing is I had ordered shiplap border um, shiplap paper for this board and it's on back order and won't be until February we start school January so end of January so it's not going to be ready so that means that I have to make do with what I have and yes <laughs> I will be changing it out once I get my shiplap because that's what I wanted but the clouds are pretty anyway so I'm going to start on that and put the borders up and it's going to be my entry now I'm not 100% sure what I'm actually going to put on it a big board and I'm not 
I'm a bit sad that the ship lap didn't come in. But anyway, I am going to make do with what I have and trying because it is the blue and I wanted the ship lap to have the greens and yellows around it. I'm hoping it doesn't it was a white ship lap. I'm hoping it doesn't clash because that's the border I brought to put on. Okay, so I'm going to make a start on that. See okay, you later. So I got this bookshelf gifted to me because I like the colour. But I can't put anything on the top because I have just put up my birthday wall underneath my wow wall. Don't you just love it? It's a tropical. It's beautiful. Anyway, I can't really, unless there's something small, put it on here, anything. And it is filthy. Absolutely. So, doo -doo. guess what I'll be doing? Check back with me in a minute. Okay, so that didn't go as well as I'd hoped because it started to take the paint off and it's still got black all over it. So I thought, how about I cover it with some of the shiplap sticky contact adhesive vinyl because this board here which I'm not finished <laughs> will eventually be shiplap one day so I might cover just this top piece in the shiplap check back with me in a minute okay so it's not by any means perfect but it's better than what it was so yeah so there we go there's the birthday board I don't even know what I'm putting in here yet but I felt that wall space just needed something um, probably homework baskets drink bottles those sort of things that kids use when they first come through the door really liking the birthday wall Radio on to the next thing. <laughs> I'm still deciding on this. Yeah. Not sure. I like the border. I like my flowers. I just don't know about the welcome too. Anyway, we will see. Okay, so I've been a little bit busy and I have managed to move some tables. Um, I have managed to finish if you look right in the corner there you can see that I have managed to finish that board nearly I'm gonna lie I decided to put white into the borders and now I'm like oh it's a big it's really hard with a frozen shoulder and a previously broken wrist that don't want to do things and it's really hard to get to the top it takes a lot of work and effort and yeah don't know if I'm up to it but anyway I will take you over and show you what I have done so and I'm really sorry I realized in the last video the aircon up there is really loud when I walk past it I don't know what to do about that so I'll walk quickly past it follow me so here are my tables so another thing I have come to realize with these tables that are you beaut and cute I don't know why I have this khaki colored table in there. I do have to find out what height I need. I think these tables are a little bit too short, too low. Um, and I have two that are a bit high, so I need to get them, work out how to, I'm sure it'd be pretty easy, but I'd need to work out how to put them down and put these ones up, which is another job maybe my husband can do. Um, so yeah but I did realize sorry that they don't they only lend themselves to groups of four really not groups of six has anyone else worked with these tables and got more than a group of four out of them like I can put an extra table so over here I have stuck there's that aircon I have stuck an extra table out here but can't fit two anyway so I got this finished now if you followed my previous vlog on doing this room this is not my preferred color the aqua for all my boards I have actually ordered white chiplap 
but it's not due to come in until February. I ordered it beginning of November and they ran out. So it's not due until early February, which means I probably won't get it till mid-February. School starts the end of January. So for now, I have just stuck up the aqua and it is wrapping paper. <laughs> so I went in and brought a roll of wrapping paper, a couple of rolls of wrapping paper. It matches nicely with my bins down the bottom in the bookshelf, but it's not my preferred and that's what happened. Oh, sorry for spinning you around here, which I still haven't completed, but that was meant to be shiplap too. So we'll deal with it. But that is going to be the reading pin board. So as you see here, I started with the white down there. I have to fix that up. <laughs> but I got this done, which I'm happy with, and I'm still debating whether I'm gonna go around and do white. This is our writing board. I really love this border. I didn't realize I'd like it that much and I'm wondering if they have it in a teal or a blue. I might have to order some for this board. So I'm probably gonna go online now and have a look to see if they have this really cute fishy tail one. I think they've got it in a blue. <gasps> Oh, I think I have to go and order some and I'll put that on this is which is going to be our bump it up wall which is just the leftover shiplap from the English board that I had this is that better than paper paper that you can write on yeah so that's what I've done so far Ta -da. Okay, well, I'm going to go and look online and see if I can find this border because I just had like a thrilling expectation, excitement. Radio, so I am back in the room for another day. I didn't finish yesterday too well because my husband turned up and I decided I was hot and hungry and wanted to go home. So I didn't get to show you what I had completed in the classroom yesterday and then I'll let you know what I'm up to today in the classroom so yesterday I'm not sure but I don't think I showed this is going to be our bump it up wall this little part over here I'm not sure yet but I didn't just want it a boring gray so I've got to put a little border around that I don't know what I'll do with that I then completed the writing board which is cute which will have all our writing goals and what we're looking at in writing and I did finish the English board as well except I'm still debating if I'm going to go around and put that white border all the way around that is not a priority at all so um, I did actually pick up some things from Kmart these amazing monsteria leaves, some ivy leaves, which I had, I have them at home, but I've picked up a couple more boxes. I think they were like $5 a box. I picked up them and I picked up this really cute um, pot, because I have a few pots that probably could do with a new pot. I also picked up, to match my theme of my room, these kitty litter trays <laughs> oh I know you know five dollars for a kitty litter tray but I thought they would make good boxes to put um, writing books spelling and math I think yeah I just thought they would make good little bins for those so why I'm in here today is because I'm going to finish because this has taken me forever and it's doing my head in I am going to finish our entry now i'm still not convinced that i like that style of welcome okay so i did decide the other day that i didn't like any um bulletin board letters so i made my own with a shiplap background and just a tropical leaf design to go up here because I'm not sure if I like that or if I'm going to use these. 
So I will try them and see which I like better. So that took a long time <laughs> to get those monsteria leaves up. Now I'm still not, I feel like I need to, oh, I feel like there's a gap there. I feel like I need to maybe cut one off there and stick it over there. Anyway, so that's my entry so far. And I feel that, look at all that glare. I wonder if I can take, no, oh, that's a bit better. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Welcome to our classroom. Now, I know it went a little bit wonky at the top. I can't do anything about that. I'm really annoyed still that I have to have this blue <laughs> cloud paper and not my shiplap. There's my little mascot. She's peeking out behind the leaves. These will be, I've got a whole class set with all their names. I was just putting it on to decide where did I want to put them. So welcome to our classroom 1B. And we've got these cuties. What I really want to do is in this area, I'd really like to put our weekly focus so that when kids walk in or parents walk in, you're going to see the weekly focus. That was one idea. Or I display our charts that we make so I've left that all empty because I am like not sure down the bottom here we have morning folders I will go into more depth with them with you with them about them <laughs> um, when I'm up to them not up to them yet I've got to make sure I have enough okay so next on the agenda is this here so I've just got to make sure that I have enough book boxes. Now these book boxes that I have here are what I use for daily five for the students. So um, when they're doing daily five in there will be a folder and their books that they choose to read will be in those books but I'm not sure. And here are all these wonderful peg things, hangers. I'm thinking I'm going, I want them there. I like them. And I think I'm going to put on them their passwords. So I'll put a number and their passwords on them. Yeah. Okay, so cleaning up this, what I have to do is swap out. And I've brought some new ones. But I need to swap out that number for that cute number on the correct one. It doesn't really matter. Whatever. So that is next project. Okay, so I realized I am out of boxes and probably because I threw away a whole bunch that were old. So these are all recycled, but these last ones are new ones. So I'm gonna have to go home tonight and get order some more. Hopefully that'll be in next week. I only need 26, say an extra one, 27. So, but I'm missing 12. How do I miss 12? <laughs> no idea. Anyway. Hello. So, another day in the classroom. It's late afternoon. This is maybe the best light. Um, it's late afternoon and I've decided to come in and clean up not so much my desk because I've done that. But something's got back on it again but I need to clean up the area around it so this is what it looks like and I've got this use useless bookshelf I don't know if you can see that 
stuck in there so I have got another cabinet so this bookshelf I'm going to take because it only works if it's standing up against the wall so I'm going to take everything out of it I'm going to move this and I have another shelf locker to put in there so that's what I am going to do now so that's my afternoon job I'll come back to that and we'll see you then I've been in here quite a while <laughs> anyway I'm up to this board so here. this is our focus when parents teach us someone walks in this is where our focus will be and I just want to put a title across there but I realize as many people do that when you laminate it it gets very um, catches the light and you can't always see it well because it reflects the light and it becomes shiny so I'm about to I'll just show you I'm about to I saw some hacks on Instagram to cut out the letters and to glue them onto card and that will stop them curling because if you don't laminate them and you put them up on a pin board they end up curling so this is supposed to help so I'm going to try it so I'll bring you along with me as I do it they're up I think I could have probably cut them out better but that's gonna have to do our focus so that's the focus wall which is underneath our welcome which I have this really cute cactus and llama hanging that I want to put up banner and then I have to put all the students names on which are on these but they'll have to go all around and then I think that's pretty much it actually I don't mind it you can see what I stapled it on don't look too hard so I'm quite loving this little area of my room that's where we walk in so that's our entrance yeah it's looking good now what I have been up to is my partner next door she didn't want this cabinet my year one partner she didn't want this cabinet so she was throwing it out and I thought about it last night and I thought you know what it would come in really handy for student books that we get that students have extras of now the top shelf in there is books that I have acquired you know students leave I buy some of my own kids books so they're in there and down the bottom is a few leftover books so the middle shelf will be for the students extra books that they bring in which I thought was great because then it actually I am very much a believer in making little areas in my room so this really broke off the area now I am going to contact it in this white wood vinyl contact the whole thing because I actually want this to become a literacy rotation where they have the magnetic letters on there to do their tricky sight words so I thought that's worked out really well so it's just here where you walk in and we still have this I still haven't attempted my library yet I have everything I need I think but I have changed things around so this seat this sofa lounge was over underneath my be kind area being kind but I swapped it out still not 100% about this area over here but getting there but I do like in here now so this will have the rug put down some more cushions hopefully another little bookshelf over in the corner there and I'll get that all sorted out in the next couple of days so what I'm going to do now is I am going to 
sign out of this vlog because I have done a few days in here. So I'm going to sign out and pick up this in the next few days to continue on the vlog. But I think there's enough already on this vlog to look at. So thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.